So anyway, I said, <laughs> so anyway, I said, wait for it, if you didn't have enough sausages, why did you get on the boat? <laughs> anyway, look, sorry, I've got to go, I'm doing the show. All right, okay, bye. Oh, dear. Hello, everybody. Hi. Great to see you. Do you know where I've been? I've just been out getting myself a really special treat. I've been saving for months for this, and now I have it. My brand new awesome pad. Ooh. This one, Ooh. this one is the 702. My last one was only a 701. This one's even more awesome. It's got, um, it's got more flanges. It's got faster dingalings and the new lumoscopic display. Oh yeah. And it flies. Oh. <laughs> there you go, see? Just like that. And now watch this. Come back to me, awesome pad. Hey, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here. Awesome pad. Here. Here. Oh. 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 oh, whoa. My goodness me. What about that? Wow, that really is something, isn't it, Mr. Bonovis? I am delighted with it, I must say. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Oh. Uh, hey? Hey, what? You're, you're delighted with my new awesome pad? No, Jovis, with mine. Mine does that amazing flying thing too. Oh, right. You've got one as well, have you? Yeah, they're fantastic. Actually, it's... Not exactly the same as yours, though. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. No, mine's the 703 and yours is the 702. You mean yours is better than mine? Oh, um, just a little bit faster and slightly more compact and it can fly a bit higher. <laughs> and pick bananas. Oh, my goodness, and pick bananas. That is so you. Huh. Silly that is. That does, that does what, what, what kind of a thing, what kind of a thing does silly, silly things like pick silly bananas? It's silly. Silly 703, monkey. Huh? Hey, what's the matter, Jovis? You don't sound too happy. Oh, yes, I'm very happy, monkey. Very happy indeed that you've got a 703 and, and I've only got a 702. Even though I saved for months, that's quite perfectly fine. Not a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, well, perhaps I could tell you a joke and that would cheer you up. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. Suppose it will. Yeah. Go on then. Here goes. What do you call a fly with no wings? I don't know. What do you call a fly with no wings? A walk. <laughs> a walk. A walk. No wings. Fly. A walk. A walk. <laughs> a walk. <laughs> And now it's a walk! <laughs> monkey, monkey, that's brilliant! That's brilliant! Oh, here you are, here you are! I've got one for you, I've got one for you. Um, what do you call a man with a spade on his head? Dunno! What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Ready? Doug! <sighs> Doug! Doug! Because spades dig! And he's got a spade on his head and he's Doug! <laughs> oh, your joke's way better than mine. That's not fair. Monkey gets all the good jokes. Oh, I, I guess I'm going to have to cheer myself up by going and then have a look through the window. Oh, oh, shall we have a look through your window or mine? Because yours is probably much better than mine, isn't it? Uh? Oh, I'm sure your usual window's just fine, Jovis. Oh, all right then. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's have a look through the window. We're going to dig and pick some vegetables with our granddad today. Would you like to come with us? What we're going to do today is pick some peas and I'll show you how to pick them. You must hold it there and then pull. 
The reason for that is that if you don't, you'll pull the pea out of the ground and it'll die. So just hold it there and pull. Would you like to have a go, Bella? This is how we open a pea pod. We hold it on the corner and press it with our thumb and it comes open. Mmm, fresh peas! Off to the greenhouse. What you're going to do now is water some of these plants, girls. Would you like to start with watering the tomatoes, Betsy? Go on, I love helping my granddad do the watering. Someone at the door, listen. I wonder who that could be. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, hello. 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 Who's there? Hello. Oh, it's those blooming hello. kids again. If I ever get my hands on them, hello. Mr. Bonovis, it's me down here. <laughs> Taught us a thing or two. I didn't see you down there. <laughs> Oh, well, some things never change, eh? Anyway, I say anyway, have a thing or two for you, Mr. Bonnell. Oh, uh, lovely. Thanks so much. Uh, well, but is it a thing or is it two? Well, it's a thing. I say it's a thing. Ah, oh, great. Is this it here? That's the one. I say that's the one. Oh, let me just grab that from <whistles> your tortoise. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you very much, tortoise, a thing or two. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, bye. Oh. Well, now. What's this in here, in this big box? I don't remember ordering anything. Whoa! Whoa! Something totally moved then. It moved! There's something in this box It moved! It moved! Monkey! Monkey! Something moved in the box! Monkey! Something moved in this box! Is this anything to do with you? Mr. Bonovis, calm down, calm down. I think I know what it is. Oh, 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 right, I see. Well, is it... Is it safe? Yeah, absolutely. Just read the top of the box, will ya? Right. Stripey Monkey, Creation Crew Headquarters. Oh, I see. It's for you, Monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Open it. Um, OK, well... Stripey monkey, I'm gonna look after you. Oh. oh, how come you've got a new pet? Oh, I, I want a new pet. It's my cousin. He's asked me to look after her while he's poorly, so we're gonna be best friends, aren't we, little bunny? Yes, we are. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Cool, early bird. Dear me, what do you think of that, eh? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Well, no, but no, no, it's not because I want a new pet. Why haven't I got a new pet? Mr. Bonhovis, it sounds like you're jealous. Can't you just be happy for him? How can I be happy for him when I haven't got one? Well, not to worry. I'll get a better pet than him. That'll show him. <laughs> it's a show him that you're being silly again. Did you did did you see that? That was my socks. They were singing to me again. What are you talking about? Singing socks? Don't be so silly. Um, well, anyway. I've ordered something really cool, and it should be here very soon. <laughs> There's the door. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. Hello. 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 Hello, hello there. Hello. 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 Oh, flaming kids. I'll tell you if I ever get my hands on them. 
Mr. Bonhovis, down here, it's me. Oh, taught us a thing or two. I didn't see you down there. You oh, no, well, you never do anyway. I've got a thing or two for you. I say I've got a thing or two for you. OK, now, well, is it a thing or is it two? Well, it's a, it's a thing. Right, OK, so is this it down here? Oh, oh fabulous. I think I might know what this is. <laughs> Come on, oh, Easy, it's quite big, Ooh. this one, anyway. Nice to see you. Oh, you two tours, it's lovely. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I've never had anything like this before. This is amazing. <gasps> it's really in there. Monkey! Monkey! Come and have a look at this! Oh, what do you think of that? Oh, amazing, Jovis. Oh, really amazing, although I'm not really a huge fan of snakes. <laughs> You're not scared, are you, monkey? Oh, uh, yes. As it happens, I am! Oh, is that the doorbell again? What now? Can't you just deliver everything at once? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mr. Bosanti Craco. It's Mr. Bosanti Craco, everybody. Uh, do you come in? Good uh, afternoon, Mr. Bonhervis. Good afternoon. I'm yeah. here to see this tripy monkey. Ah, right. Yes. He's asked for my advice regarding the care of his new bunny rabbit. Oh, right, of course, Mr. Bosanti Craco. It's Mr. Bosanti Craco, everybody. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Hello, Mr. Bosanti Craco. Thanks for coming. Uh, slight problem, I can't seem to find my rabbit. She's not in her box. Oh dear. Well, I don't mind waiting. Um, that's jolly good. Why don't you just take a seat here and... <laughs> that's monkey. Where's my enormous dangerous snake? Ah, oh, I don't know. And my rabbit's gone missing too. This is awful. <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Bonhervis? Ah, uh, he's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. We just seem to have misplaced the bunny rabbit. And Mr. Bonhervis is enormous, dangerous... <laughs> enormous? Dangerous? Uh, did I hear you say enormous and dangerous? Yes, uh, my enormous, dangerous... cake! Enormous, dangerous cake. That's it. Really? You've lost an enormous, dangerous cake? Yes. It's very bad for you, you know. Too much cake. I see. Oh, quite. By the way, Mr. Bosanti Craco, on a completely unrelated subject, which has nothing to do with anything at all that you need to worry about, do you happen to know what large snakes like pythons and boa constrictors might eat? It's hmm, an interesting question. Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, they're rather partial to a diet of, of, of small mammals, uh, such as rabbits and even an occasional monkey. Rabbits? <gasps> Me! Uh, um, Mr. Bosanti Craco, we'd just better have a little look around for the uh, for the rabbit and the um... the enormous dangerous cake. The enormous dangerous cake. Yes, that's it. to have you here. Really great, really great that you could come. I just, you just make yourself comfortable. It's going to be, everything's going to be perfect now, Mr. Bosanti Craco. 
My dear stripy monkey, I think I'd better return when you're a little more organized. You can telephone me when you're able to have a dignified conversation. Oh, yes, Mr. Bo Santi Craco. Bye, Mr. Bo Santi Craco. Oh, is it safe? Are we all clear? Mr. Von Hovis, what a palaver. I think it's time to quiet down with a nice story, don't you? I couldn't agree more, Bucky. Absolutely. What have you got for us today? Oh, something gentle, I hope. What's this? Mm. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh. oh, what's this? <gasps> Clark fits my foot in the green-eyed monster. What a crazy title. And nothing to do with snakes either. That's good. I know. Hi. Hey, monkey. Hello. <laughs> you know, Bucky often tries to give me a story that's somehow about the way I've been mm. behaving, been behaving or, or what's been going on in the house, you know. And it's good because he hasn't done that today. <laughs> Here we go, then. Clark fits my foot was struggling at school. Mm. Mm. Poetry just wasn't his thing. Flower arranging did nothing for him. And as for art, well, the closest he could get to painting a bowl of fruit was when he spilled some paint on a banana. <laughs> <laughs> spilled paint on a banana? He painted fruit! <laughs> painted the fruit, spilled paint on a banana. <laughs> yeah, he did, monkey. Anyway, Clark Fitzmyfoot began to get very disheartened. It seemed as if everyone in his school had so much fun with their different sports and lessons and hobbies and Clark thought that it just wasn't fair. Oh, why is it unfair if people are enjoying themselves? Well, it, it's not unfair, is it? But he felt like everybody else was getting all the fun. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, well, he thought it was just about the last straw when his good friend, Toes McCrikey, came and knocked at his door with a stunning new soccer ball. Ooh. Hi, Clark! Hey. Guess what I've been doing? I've been playing, I've been playing soccer! Yeah. Loads on, I'm getting really oh. good at it! <laughs> Look, my dad got me this new ball, so now I can play whenever I want! Are you coming out? No, thank you! said Clark moodily. And that's when Clark began to turn into the green-eyed monster. Nobody could see it because it happened on the inside, but he began to have some very green-eyed monster ideas. Oh, oh no, it's all going wrong, Jonas. Mm, yes, wait and see, monkey. I know what I'll do, said Clark. If I sneak away, everybody's nice mm. things, they won't be able to play their mm. games and do their lessons and their sports and then everyone will be the same as me and it'll be fair again! Ha 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 Yeah, that's not fair at all, Jovis. That's just mean. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, I know, it is, it is. And he, so he began to sneak away all of the nice things which helped his friends to do the things that they loved. The ball, which helped Toes mm. McCrikey play soccer, mm. uh, which he loved. Oh. The brushes, which helped Alice Flowerpot do, it, do the painting, which she loved. Mm. And the books, which meant Shakespeare's Wordspear could do mm. the reading that he loved. And he made a clever robotic lift hey. so that he could stuff all of the things away in Whoa. his attic automatically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and no one would know that they were mm. there. It's the naughtiest thing in the world! It's very naughty, Monkey. But no sooner had he done all that than he was racked with guilt. He felt terrible. Everyone was so disheartened and sad oh. and, and they couldn't do the things that they loved anymore. Mm. <laughs> he felt awful. Things, things so close to their hearts and, and, and Clark, he just broke down into tears. Oh, he wasn't all bad then. I don't think so, Monkey, no. He said, everyone's good at things except me. Everyone has all these things that they enjoy except me. And he told his friends. He said, I took all your stuff because I was jealous. 
I built, I built this cool robotic lift to stash it all in my loft, look. And, uh, and I stuffed it all up there so that you couldn't find it. It was brill. I really enjoyed doing that. I used, I used all solar energy power and, and there was a triple twist axis in my super light carbon fibre robotic frame. Do you want to see? Hey, he sounds excited. He was, wasn't he? Well, the other kids were all really pleased to have their things back. Yeah. But they were more interested yeah. <laughs> in this robotic lift thing that Clark had built. Oh. Clark, that's amazing! You're so good at technology, that robot's just brilliant! Really? said Clark. Do you think so? Now, oh, do we ever? They, they all agreed. You've found what you're oh, good at after yeah. all, Clark! <laughs> you know, you're right, I have, and I love it. And that's how Clark figured out what he loved to do and how silly it is to be jealous of other people. Oh, brilliant, he makes robots. Who'd have thought it, Mr. Bonhovis? Who'd have thought it, robots, yeah. Oh. Mr. Bonhovis, Mr. Bonhovis, can I have a moment for a quick word, please? Oh, hello, my sweetie little Dora Mouse. What, a, what can I do for you this lovely day? It is a lovely day, Jovis. Would you like to come inside for a cup of tea? Oh, that sounds lovely. I'd love to. <coughs> it's lovely to see you, Jovis. I just wanted a little chat with you. Yes, well, that's just fine. <laughs> well, at least today, you're not going to tell me that I was anything like the people in that story. Uh, taking all those things, making robots. <laughs> I see. So you weren't jealous of monkeys or some pad? Uh, jealous? Well, I, um, well, I, it was, I think it was, well, I think it was, um, uh, and you weren't jealous of Monkey's Bunny? So much so that you brought a big and dangerous snake into the house? Oh, well the thing is, uh... Oh... Oh no, Dora, have I done it again? Oh no, I'm just like... I'm just like Clark fits my foot! Jealous! Oh! I think... I think I might have had a bit of the green-eyed monster inside me! Just a bit. The thing is, Jovis, being jealous is a terrible waste of time. We're all special and unique to God. Yes, of course, you are. You are right, Dora. And he's given us all our own things to do and to have and to use. Wanting what other people have is like saying that God has made a mistake, that he's made us right. wrong. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't... He hasn't made us wrong, has he, Dora? Of course he hasn't. We need to spend time finding out what is especially right for us, not other people. Yes, you're very good at being right, Dora. I think that's your thing. So, so we need to find out what's special for us, what we love. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I've got a song about that. How does it, how does it go? Oh yeah, it goes like this. Should have been JK. It's no good at wanting what you've got. I've got what I've got, and that's my lot. I don't think God has made a mistake giving me a biscuit when I wanted a cake. Every time I want your stuff, or oh, I think what I've got's not good enough. It's like I'm saying that God got it wrong, and I should have been Richard all along. It's no good at wanting what you've got. I got what I've got and that's my lot I don't think God has made a mistake in Calling me Jove is when I should have been Jake Well I saw your toys and they look so fine I must admit I kinda wish they were mine The green eyed monster rose up inside So I prayed to God to keep me satisfied Satisfied with Time I want 
want your stuff Or I think what I've got's not good enough It's like I'm saying God got it wrong And I should have been Richard all along It's no good wanting what you've got I got what I've got and that's my lot I don't think God has made a mistake Giving me a biscuit when I wanted a cake Calling me Jovis when I should have been Monkey, I'm sorry for being so jealous. Um, and even putting you in danger, I think I'll be giving the snake to somebody who can look after him properly. Oh, I think that's wise, Jovis. It wasn't really a good reason to buy a pet. No, it really wasn't. It seems to me that, that wanting what other people have is completely missing the whole point of our lives. God made us unique, didn't he, in our own special way. And if we want what other people have all the time, we might miss out on what God has for us. And we need to work out what we love and what we're good at and practice those things. Sounds reasonable. How can I be sure though? Yeah, it's a good question, monkey. Good question. Monkster, I could tell you anything, couldn't I, after all? I could tell you, well, you know, I could tell you, if, if, you, if you have too many baths, you'll wear out like a bar of soap uh, until eventually you're just wafer thin like a biscuit. Did you know that, monkey? But is it in the Bible? Let's have a look, shall we? <gasps> it's scripture time. Get your, get your, get your, get your Bible out. Whip it out, get it out. Ch -ch 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 scripture time. <laughs> now then, let's have a look, shall we? About that whole, hmm, too many baths. You'll wear out like a bar of soap and you'll end up thin like a wafer. Well, that's not in here, monkey. <laughs> Hang on, though. What about us each having our own special talents given to us by God. Let's just see if I didn't just mark something up ready. What have we got here? We're in Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Now it says in here, we each have different gifts. Each gift came because of the grace God gave us. Whoever has the gift of serving should serve. Whoever has the gift of leading should work hard at it. Whoever has the gift of showing kindness oh. to others should do it gladly. Well, there you go. That's in the Bible. We're all different because God made us all different. And we should just be whoever God made us to be. There's a lot to remember today, Jovis. Can you keep it simple, please? Yeah, it is. You know what? That was quite a lot, wasn't it, Monkey? How can, what can we do to make that easy? Don't be jealous of other people. Be happy with <laughs> who you are. Yeah. And do you, know, do you know what people sometimes call jealousy? Mm, no, what? They call it the green-eyed <laughs> monster! <laughs> 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 let's go, let's go and make something, shall we? Let's go and make a green-eyed monster to help us remember. <gasps> it's sunny! Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to make a green-eyed monster puppet today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now, Monkey, you've got a few of these wrong lately, so, so listen huh? closely, OK, because it is a bit tricky. Oh, sure, Jovis. I'm not going to make any silly mistakes today. Definitely not. Oh, oh no. good, good, because this is quite tricky. OK, first thing you're going to need for your green-eyed monster puppet is any old sock, just an oh. old sock like this. Start off with some stiff paper or card, plain white card, You'll need a pen, you'll need a glue stick, and you'll also need a pair of scissors. Sharp, sharp, scissor alert. Don't go cutting unless you've got an adult with you. Right, so I'm gonna draw some big, scary, googly eyes for my green-eyed monster. You might want to copy what I do. Okay, so if, he's, if the tops of his eyes point downwards like that, he looks ever so frowny and cross. Oh. Now, 
How am I going to attach those to my puppet? Watch this, this is the clever bit. You need to draw a long rectangle sticking out the bottom of your eyes like this. Now, that's not a funny looking nose. No, that's, that's a tag. That's something that you're going to use to attach the card to your green-eyed monster. Watch this. Snibbity, 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 snip. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but glue sticks actually attach paper to fabric really well, and you'll have a really strong bond, and it'll last a long time, believe it or not. Now, here we go. So your sock is going to start looking like a monster. Poke that sock inside itself so you've got a mouth so and then what we're going to do is use this tag that I told you about to bend backwards like that and then watch this carefully back on itself and then one more bend just there to glue on the back of the eyes now can you see what I've got there can you see how that's worked get your glue stick and secure that firmly how's uh, how's yours coming on there monkey all right Oh, I think you're going to be really proud of me today, Jovis. It's looking great. Oh, thank goodness. That makes a nice change. Huh? Anyway, back to where I was. Now we want lots and lots of glue on where you're going to attach the eyes like this. Lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. And you can stick the eyes on there. And they stick really well. Now, you can make up your own monster in any way you like, just remembering to use big, bold lines and those tags to stick it onto the sock, and you might end up with something a little bit like this. Rawr! Rawr! I'm the green-eyed monster, and I want what you've got! <laughs> and there you have it, your own green-eyed monster to remind you never to become like him. <laughs> hey, let's have a look at yours, monkey. Here we go, Jovis. What do you think? Well, where is it? I, I can't see it. What do you mean? It it's right here. I'm sitting on it. My, my very own green-eyed monster carpet. My green-eyed, green-eyed monster carpet. Huh? Carpet? It was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a green-eyed monster puppet. Oh, monkey. Oh, calm down, calm down, Mr. Bonovis. Oh. Here, why don't you have a little lie down? You can use my carpet if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, monkey, will you ever get it right? <laughs> oh, well, that's all we've got time for today, boys and girls. We have to go. Don't forget to come back next time. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. You're special. <laughs> Bye.